Wow, what a jump shot. He's fine. Look, Look at this. Look at this. Look at the safety shot. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go rail first with some spin. Great shot by Sean Wilkie. And he drills it. What a shot. Great shot out there. Alrighty, guys. Looks like the players went for a flip. And it looks like Derek won the flip, and he's taking rack number one, or break number one, I should say. Break number one. Here we go. So uh, anybody who is living under a rock, um, sitting in the booth with Del Sim, welcome in, brother. It's good to have you back in. Thanks I enjoyed very much. commentating last time we was around. Where was that champion? I think last time I saw you it in the booth. It was Maryland uh, Temple. Yeah, there was a couple cool things. You know, uh, you know what I loved about that is you taught me how to lay the bridge across oh. the table and bridge on the <laughs> bridge. Controversy, didn't it? That was the sickest ever. I went back and I was using that at home and everybody that saw me <laughs> did, do it was like, <laughs> mind blown. Yeah. Yeah. And I plugged you. I, I gave you, you I gave you the respect. Yes. I was like, dude, I learned it from this guy named Dell. You got to look him up. He's so sick. <laughs> it was well, You would think I would need it being seven foot tall. It, it was it. pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got, you do have that long reach. But on this table, the the reach is there. I, I can reach anything on this table. <laughs> yeah, insane. you can almost touch the other rail. <laughs> Do you know, I think this is my first bar box actual tournament, or first state tournament. Really? Yeah, my first one. I know. I don't, uh, I don't play bar box. Koch was Christina Koch. Uh, Takach was up here for a, a little while back ago. Played on a bar box for the first time ever. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. We just don't know about it, you know. It's like it's nine crazy. foot or nine foot or nothing, or ten foot. Ten foot's a good too. Anyway. I, w I would love to see an entire event on a 10-foot table oh, that's yeah. like a pro like invitational just to see how everybody would do on it. I think that would be really they do interesting. It, they, do, they do it at the Derby, the 10-foot challenge, the Bigfoot. That's the Bigfoot challenge, yeah, top 16. I, I haven't been able to see all of that. I need to yeah. actually watch it. It's on the AccuStats, I think. I'm not that I want to plug anyone else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so does this actually slide by here? I think it does, yeah. Oh, no. Just playing for the safe. Yeah, Derek's got a nice touch. I noticed when I was playing him earlier, um, played him in the first round. And uh, there's a very, very, very good break when he wants to. Russ, I'm not sure if uh, Sean and Christina have already started their match. I know we were looking forward to having that come up on this table. Um, but I'm not sure exactly where we're at with that. I'm I looking around the room now. I don't see them in this half of the room. If they are, it'll be on 8 to 11 through the other side. So he gets a good hit here. Might get a little fortune. Oh, I don't know that. He's got lucky there. Six ball combo might. It's a little offset, but he can make it go. Can. Yeah. One thing there is the cue ball. He's gonna have to. Uh, he's gonna have to go a little bit loose with the cue ball, which means he might just see him play safe. Yeah, it looks like. Tuck up behind the seven there. Just a little soft. Everyone's got a very soft touch on bar box. You notice that? Yeah, you definitely don't have to let out that stroke like you do on the nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Last match, we were noticing that players were under rolling their shots. Of, oh, oh wow, see, that's the problem with playing safe all the time. So you can just have a slash at it when it's uh, uh, nine ball slops. <laughs> Let's that's see what Kevin can do with it. I literally, I was watching a game on the outer table, and he, uh, this guy just kept chasing the cheese every, yeah. every shot. Just drilling it. He got four. He got four out of the seven. Holy moly! Yeah, just by combos. <laughs> That'd make you sick. Yeah, it would. Oh no! Oh, there's a drops. Oof. And it falls down. That was fortunate. Avoided the it? scratch and it fell. Yeah, Kevin's normally a bit more clean than this. I've seen. I, I, like I say I followed him around up and down the East Coast. He does travel a lot for Paul. Um, and he is very clean. He's very uh, a very compact stroke. Well, he might just be feeling it today on the one-off side. That's a bit better. Still out of shape, you know, just trying to fight back into into position. Still goes, but he's going to be losing the cue ball. He's going to be either letting it go or playing the bank. Or the other good one is it. This is a good safe. Tuck it behind the eight and take the cue ball back behind through through the six and nine gap. Looks like he's going to attack it. Personally, I'll play safe at zero zero. You know, keep the other guy in, in his chair. Oh, he's, he's slashing at it. Here we go. 
Watch this ball. Uh, personally, I think that's a wrong shot. And look at look at nine wow. ball. Wow. This is what this is what sucks about nine ball. <laughs> yeah, we're literally witnessing a lot of the wow, a lot of the cons in one rack. <laughs> in one in one slash of the rack. Yeah. Not going to do the guys a disservice, but you know it's tough out there on the TV table. A bit of pressure. There's a nice big crowd here as well. Some people. Well, yeah, and a lot of these players. I mean, have been, I mean, if everybody got here at nine when the doors open, then I mean, we're we're at ten hours right now. So oh, even yeah. if they showed up at uh, nine forty-five for the start of the the players' meeting, it's still. I mean, you're nine hours deep in a yeah. in a tournament. I drove down from New York this morning. How far of a drive is that? It's only four, four hours. Oh, that ain't too bad. It's not terrible. Nice. But we lose an hour of sleep tonight as well. I'm not looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, me and Jake were talking about that. It's uh, that's about, it's actually further of a drive for me to come up here from Virginia Beach. It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's, it's, about, it's five hours if I make good time, like with little traffic. It's about six hours with traffic. Wow. Yeah. Another, oh, another jelly roll. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, just yeah. looking back on this one. He, he made a really good hit on it. Now, do you hit this one uh, kind of at pocket speed so the cue ball stays there for the six? Absolutely. You don't. I mean, he really went out that really too hard. Yeah. You, you, if you play that pocket speed, you're guaranteed the six. Let's we'll see. We're going to have a kick but to a bank, or this might be cuttable, but that's... that's it is cuttable, um, but again, losing the cue ball. Yeah. He was drilling them earlier. Sorry, guys, I just realized the music is still playing. That goes back to uh, me talking about being a 10-hour day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good beat. Yeah, and that thing's just on loop, too. That's just the intermission <laughs> music, so it's just going to keep going. See, oh, Kevin, no. Kevin's had a slash at it again. <sighs> uh, I don't think he's really settled into the first rack. You know, not not trying to be too hard on him. And uh, Derek really needs to take, take advantage here. You see, he loses a, a really long cue. He's got a, a, a massive extension, but holds holds the cue quite far up on the uh, on the wrap. I noticed. So even with the the extra cue, that makes the the cue very bottom heavy. <laughs> Can't see it off camera, but <laughs> certainly gets a lot of power through the cue ball. Leaves himself right on the rail. Thankfully, he's got a little bit of angle to work with here. Not a lot, but it's there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's natural just going up and down there. Let's see if he can close out the first point. This wasn't the cleanest rack from him, like you were saying, but no. I, I do expect both of these guys to get a little bit more comfortable. They just called table six. Table six is a stream table, right? <laughs> uh, no, 12. Oh, it's 12? Okay. I don't know which one six is, to be honest. Oh, it's over there in the corner. So uh, Derek's going to throw the first point on the board for this match. Excellent. Uh, NJ, uh, I'm pretty sure we lose an hour, buddy. You'll go to bed at uh, 12 o'clock, and it'll magically be one in the morning. <laughs> I say he'll go to bed at 12 o'clock. He'll probably still be watching the stream at 12 o'clock. I rely on my phone now. It tells me. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I go home and I look at something like the stove that doesn't like yeah. automatically change. I'm like, what? what's happening over there? <laughs> <laughs> keep up with my life. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like I'm relying on you. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm noticing a lot today? There is a hell of a lot of Revos out there today. There really is. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like every other shaft. Every other shaft. Every other shaft. Is I mean, between Revo and uh, I've seen a few Jacobis. The new Jacobi is looking uh, is looking very good. The, 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 I think the QTech and Jacobi they waited. I think they waited rightfully too. Yeah, they kind of let uh, Revo yeah. figure out, let lay like pave the road, and they come in. Yeah, a couple of over, right? on top. Same with Mez. Mez have made a very good carbon shaft too, with a with a wood feel. I've been trying to get my hands on a, the QTEC shaft for a little while. Yeah, the Synergy, right? It's yeah. C15 or something, S15. Yes, uh, C, CT15. CT, where? One of the two. Can't beat a bit of wood, mate. Can't beat a bit of wood. <laughs> Straight bit of wood. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a chance to hit with a few of the different ones? Um, not the Jacoby. I've hit with the Mez and um, the QTEC, and by far, I hate the Revo. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a horrible hit. It's like I've a heard hit, that from a lot of people. It's like a hit with a lead pipe. 
like the feedback is the just feedback not. Feedback is just yeah. It's the vibration really, and what Jacoby and QTech and Mez have been able to do is delete it. Has managed to like get rid of the vibration, make it feel like wood at the end. Jake actually got his hands on a uh, Jacoby today. Oh, beautiful! So nice to be connected, eh? Be be playing with that. Yeah, he was trying to get a QTech uh, from a from a guy for a little while, and it ended up not going the way I, he wanted I, I it to. I think he'll be better off with a Jacoby, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they make fantastic shafts. Not not just on the obviously, you know, without trying the the carbon shaft, I wouldn't know, but I had a lot of good feedback about it. But their their hybrid edge is one of the best out there anyway. Yeah, I've heard really good things about that. If you like a laminated shaft, that is, which well, I, I play with the Obi laminated, so I'm I'm a fan of it. Just need to draw this back now into the uh, second third of the table. Doesn't really need to worry too much about shape. He's naturally coming back for the eight now. Just has to go up and down, avoid the nine. On these small tables where it's nice and compact, you, know, you really don't need to work the cue ball too hard, which is nice. It's just avoiding the scratch. That's the worst. <laughs> yeah, rarely do you do you have to throw a power stroke out there. Yeah, I mean these ones, they just float in and it will, it will drift nicely down. Perfect. Doesn't want to be straight. Wants a little bit of angle. This is now a bit funny. And he'll know that. But on the again, these short tables, playing rail first here isn't the end of the world. Because the ball's so close to the pocket. The eight ball. Or is this going to look like he's going to power draw? Try and like bump it out. There we go. Twisty. A little bit of outside. Perfect. Not bad. A little further than he wanted to, but still gets the job done. Yeah, again, it's personal preference there. Some people just like to roll that in and play it up the top. A lot can go wrong with draw. They're taking rack number two. Yeah, Kevin really not uh, asserted any dominance on the game right now. Every time he's been at the table, uh, it's come to an error or an unforced error or mistake. Because now that we're talking about it, like I'm looking around and I'm like, so you, you see the Revo, Revo right? <laughs> and then the next table's a Revo, and then the next table's like a, both players are using Revos. You can, you can chalk. I mean, there's a lot down there, there's a lot in the room. Hmm. We, got, uh, we got 50 grand in pool shafts up here. We, I, re I reckon we have. Oh, look, there we go, we got our tickets. You in? Where's yours? No, I don't, I didn't get any. Oh, Jake did. Oh, that's not us. We were close. If I'd have bought another 20. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the guy that bought it after me. Awesome. Yeah, that's so frustrating. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I was 10 away. <laughs> Man. It's this one ball. Seconds. He's going to be able to see the whole ball here. See what he decides to do with it. Some easy um, safety options here if you want some. Has to be a safe. It's not. A, it's not as easy. I mean, not as easy as it looks. If he can see the. Uh, if he can see the cut, he'll take the cut on. I think. Yeah, he's still contemplating. Yeah, I mean, if you can't see the full full edge there, you know, he can play it up and down and just try and use the three to hold. But again, the, the one ball might be frozen, so it might be, might be a bit more difficult than it looks from here. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking slow roll it and just let the cue just like this. Slide it in, yeah. I didn't oh, like that he shot. almost got it. It was such a tight gap behind that three. Yeah. You're right. But he's not, you know, he's not on all cylinders right now. And I, I don't like his next shot. He's going to be locked. He's going to be really locked up now.
Oh man, that one ball almost accidentally went in. <laughs> this is the worst thing you see. When you play safe like that, you really don't want it anywhere near a hole. Um, but the two ball, the two balls really come to his rescue here. He can use a bit of draw. You see him just digging into the rail. That'll cause the cue ball to arc. You see that arc? Oh wow, that's beautiful. Wow, what a shot. Just as we were calling that then. Beautiful. You see that there, the danger of leaving a ball over the hole, you know. It definitely gives you more to aim at. Mm, see, this is a little bit more the speed we were expecting from Kevin. Yeah, he'd, he'd have had a little chat to himself in the chair and thought, you know what, <laughs> um, I didn't come all this way just to, you know, just to crap out. Shoots that one left-handed, it gets perfect on it. Oof, beauty. Now does a five go by the six? Uh, he's going to come up to up to the middle, middle of the table. There we go. Perfect. Again, the, you know, the key to bar box is just don't make it too difficult. You know, simplify everything, and it, it makes the game ten times easier. As I say that, he just <laughs> un un unloads the draw into the rail. But it's good, you know. He's getting himself into the match. He's letting his arm go. Sometimes you just need to loosen up like that. Taking advantage of Derek's mistake. Nice way to run out the rack there. <laughs> Does the nine count off the break or no? A, that's a question I missed. I haven't seen it happen on the TV table. I know last night, I don't think that it does. I think last night for the warm-up tournament, they did something kind of fun where if if you rack, nine does not count. If you let your opponent rack for you, the nine counted on the oh, break. But that was just, I think that was just for the warm-up. Yeah. I don't think that was that's anything related to this. The alternate's really giving everyone a, a chance. The, the alternate break format. Because it would be quite easy to string a few together for the players that are here today. Yeah, I'm still curious about the uh, Christina and Sean match. Cue ball almost got kicked in the corner there. Let's see if it's um, on the bracket. She's, she's on the... Oh, it's Christina Sean, right? Yeah, that's what they were saying in the chat. Yeah. I think it's quite... Um, might be a ways down yet. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen either one of them play. I don't know that they've lost yet. Yeah, they've got to leave that one for the stream, surely. can't tuck that match away in a back room, can you? Mm -mm. No, they better not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a shot. Beautiful. And it goes. Kind of a two. Was it a little two-way, maybe, or did he play that full? Okay. That's the one thing um, Derek doesn't want, is to is for Kevin to get, you know, get ahead of steam. Yeah, find that gear and yeah. start putting some work in. Like I say, you know, he has that, he has that tournament experience where... No matter how you know how poor he started off, he's he'll find that gear and run two or three on you. Just like that, beautiful shot. Wanted a little bit more because now he's uh, he's going to have to avoid the scratch, and he can't play any draw on this shot, so he's going to have to. He may even elect to play safe here if he can't avoid the scratch. I think he can. I think this angle is just a little bit more deceiving than it really is. Yeah, see, he overplayed it to avoid the scratch. Yeah, try to cheat it. 
Well, I didn't even like the shape on the four. That's why I might, you know, uh, again. Yeah, you were talking my, safe because, yeah. My decision, my, my decision making in here is ten times better than it is at the table. <laughs> <laughs> I can play safe from here. I can't do it at the table. Yeah, it's something about having, you know, like a 10 foot away zoomed out view that just helps you see better. <laughs> yeah, I wish there was like a, one of these views at the side of the tables, maybe. I could just I go mean, that, I That'll go be the next invention, right? You come up to the Assess table the and monitor. you set a, a, little, uh, a little thing on the, on the yeah. light that lets you see an overhead view and you have some glasses on so you can see it. There you go. VR. Yeah. Let me just work, switch the show out. Just put a word in for Google, with Google. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that was Presenting nice. Google Billiards. That was a yeah, nice two-way shot, too. Great. Because he played for that. He, he played for it. If, if he made it, he was on the four. If he didn't, nice two-way. That's how nine ball should be played. You should always play you know, with that kind of shot in mind. Again, same same here. It looks like he's going to twist this one off a couple of... I didn't like that shot. That was a That was a nothing shot. Sorry, Kevin. If you were, if you're watching this back, buddy, well, that was a that was a very tight window to get in behind the seven or eight there. Yeah, I just had the wrong angle there. Well, and whenever you're going with the mass A like that, you, I mean, that's you're talking. He was some playing a lot of outside, you know. Whereas he could have just played it up and down, and there was a big target with the nine, four, and three, uh, nine, four, and five. He could have come behind that window there. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, whenever Kevin played, Kevin played on the TV table earlier today, and he played uh, very well earlier today on the TV table. I think um, a little bit just might be coming down to just some fatigue. But then again, like uh, Dell was saying, he's a very seasoned tournament player, so um, I don't really know if you know a nine, ten-hour day would really impact him the same way uh, as, a w as it does a lot of other players, being that he's that seasoned. Yeah, I've only, se I knew, I've only ever seen him play on the, um, play on the nine-foots as well. And he is, he, he does like, he does have a big stroke. So I, I think you're right, trying to adjust to a smaller table where you have to shorten up your stroke. I took the extension off my cue today because it was just you too much. I feel like it's making a big yeah, difference. Yeah, it's making a difference. Yeah, I'm just shortening the stroke, that's all. Poking it, poking at things again. <laughs> 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 Playing poke pull. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. There it goes up three to one. Yeah, very nice. I mean, Kevin again had the opportunity there. Definitely had the opportunity to level the game. Uh, get it back to a nice level playing field. So Derek's got to be feeling pretty good right now. You're up two racks and you're breaking and you know that you have tough competition with Kevin and uh, you're seeing that he's not really playing to his full potential. I mean, you, you yeah. got to keep hitting the gas pedal right here. And That's what I mean. He just advantage. needs to yeah, take that off. Still wears his hat backwards, though. <laughs> if uh, Kevin turns up the heat, let's see if it comes off. Looks like he adjusted his cue ball from his normal break there. He came in off the rail just a little bit more. Yeah, just widened it up. The reason they do that is sometimes the balls don't sit. And if um, if there's a gap, you see how the wing ball just nailed on there? Yeah. If um, just behind the nine ball, the ball, the two balls that sit behind. Again, I'm going to let away a trade secret here. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a tiny gap between uh, either the left or right, depending on where the gap is, if you bring the ball in, uh, if you bring the ball in from the rail, uh, just slightly, and it's again, it's it's all, it's all about feel and mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of knowledge, just doing it over and over yeah. again. Then you'll notice there, he absolutely nailed the wing ball. So he'll have been watching the last time where it went into the rail. So mm -hmm. if we watched his previous break back, you know, you'll see it would have gone into the rail. So he adjusted that on purpose to to squeeze the wing ball. Got you. Yeah. There you go. Ah, see, I'm gonna have to go practice that and play around <laughs> with it. I I charge by the hour, so. <laughs> Well, you hear it, guys. Let the donations start rolling in. We gotta, we gotta pay Dell for these, uh, <laughs> for these tips and tricks we're dropping. <laughs> knowledge is power, my friend. But I, I believe it should be shared. Everyone, if people don't get better, then 
you know, you're not challenging yourself. So. Well, I mean, that's something that me and Jacob also talked about. That was a great shot. Wow. I almost almost wow, wow, went wow. well for him. Look where it finished, too. Mm. You need luck, man. I'm serious. You need luck in this game, too. How many times have you seen someone just get all the luck, all the roll, uh -huh. and not play as good as the other guy? Yeah, but all the luck strikes it like yeah, at, the same, at the same in the point. same match. No luck all day, and it all comes together in one match. Oh, I hate it. So, with where the two balls at? Are you just kicking at this one rail? Just playing this off? Well, I mean, that five um, plays kind of big, doesn't it? I kind of like the jump just because it's nice and close. So it's you know it's over the pocket there. I like just uh, a little dart over the eight. But again, it's down to preference. He might like the kick. I, I think he's going to have to put a lot of draw on this to straighten, straighten it up. And aim in, in line with the uh, the five ball. See, like that? It's just yeah. slightly slide. I mean, he didn't, he, one, he hit it too soft. Two, he didn't hit it with any draw. So it was never going to straighten up. Yeah. The same way he, he, he attacked the last one, if you remember it. it yeah, kind of like extent. Yeah. Arced into the ball. I think that's right, yeah. Is he a 699? So he's a near 700 player. That's that's it in the pro realm, open pro player for a Fargo rate. And that is because he does travel extensively. He does play in a lot of tournaments, so he does get well rated. And goes deep. He goes deep into tournaments. good chat yeah so kind of going back to like sharing the knowledge uh, like you were talking about earlier it's conversations that me and Jacob had several times where we talk about how like the culture around pool in different countries versus how it is in America and it's like in America it's kind of like it really is like a trade secret that like you don't really want to let everybody know all the tips and tricks absolutely um, whereas in other country like uh, the Philippines is the one that we've talked a lot about um, have an insight. Oh no, bridging over the oh, six yeah. here. That's a that's a mistake. It's a wide open rack, and you have to it is from go there. skyscraper. But um, having some insight with uh, you know Roy's basement and all the players, um, and you know his uh, involvement in the uh -huh. Philippines, and um, just really hearing about how in the Philippines it's the knowledge is just so commonly shared in the Philippines. It's like it's just out there, and you do what you can with it, and you're not better because somebody knows something you don't. You're better because you put in time or natural talent, you know, combined with the time I agree. sort of thing. So that's um, the it's really the, interesting. The camaraderie is great. You know, I notice um, even when I see them playing in tournaments, you, you'll see, like, one guy will struggle with a break, and Dennis, Dennis will rack 100 ball, you know, he'll rack, rack 100 racks for him and tell him the secrets of what he knows about the break. Mm. and how to get a good break, you know? Yeah. Where it's so important. So I agree with you. I, I do see the Filipinos sharing knowledge a lot more. But everyone wants the advantage. Yep. This is um, this has come out funny. Again, I don't think you'll see any heroics here. You'll just lock him up behind the five and uh, make a rail. He could just hit this full. I mean, it won't be a difficult... Um, it won't be a difficult snooker to get out of, but... He just avoid. It just made sure that he couldn't come across behind the nine there, which is nice. This makes this one a little bit more difficult. Loy made a really good kick shot like this, where the the cue ball was close to the rail, like it was a really tight angle, and it was it was six, seven, eight, and he hooked himself uh, from the seven to the eight. He hooked himself behind the nine, and he had oh to no. kick behind the nine, and he drilled it. It was beautiful, and he got shot. out. Wow! And he's gonna get the six. That was a lovely shot. He played just to feather the edge of that. That was a that was a smart shot, intelligent shot. Yeah, Mark, you're absolutely right, and it's kind of funny because I've seen uh, I've seen it change the way that Aranis um, gears up for tournaments now. Because it used to be like whenever I first started uh, streaming matches that he was playing in through BSN. Lovely. This might turn out great. I mean, he's hit, it. he's hit it as well as he could. Uh, a little bit more pace, and it'd have been beautiful. He can find a side pocket if he wants it. That's a hard shot, man. <laughs> I agree. I don't like these tight to the side. Let's see how he's feeling. I mean, he's up two racks, and 
You don't have to do anything special to see the five ball nice. He's eyeballing it. It has to be a safe. I mean, it, for me, it has to be a safe. I just don't know where you would go from. I mean, you could actually feather this. I mean, you could feather it and come back behind a nine, but again, that's a hard shot. Yeah, he's hesitant. You can have it. You can see his body language just off camera. Taking an extra few moments. This is a key shot in the rack. You know, the, the difference between four one and three two is huge. Mm -hmm. At this at this type of the stage of the match. Yeah, with that alternating break format, that is that's one heck of a mountain to have to climb. Oh yeah. Jeremy Mason, Roger Holder, table three. Jeremy Mason, Roger How many players did we actually get? Uh, one hundred and eight. Oh my god. Yeah. It was a great turnout. Wow. We're Eleven tables. <laughs> yeah. They they brought in this this right here is the twelfth table. Twelfth table, okay. They um they brought this they were gonna cap it at ninety six. He goes for it. Oh look how lucky oh man. man. I, say, I say lucky, but you know, you, you're playing it with that kind of in mind. He was trying yeah, to Yeah, it's hold like that. a calculated Yeah. I can't be too harsh. It but is like a little bit of a jelly roll. <laughs> yeah, the the rolls when the that's what I'm saying. When the rolls go with you it's oof. Hey, NJ says uh, he's got to run, but good luck. See you later, Troy. That man watches more pull than <laughs> I know what to do with. He's on every stream. It's insane. Took a slash at that. Again, now this is uh, this is where Derek needs to capitalize. Nothing better than a, a three-game cushion. Oh, yeah, Mark, I didn't finish what I was saying earlier about Aranis. Uh, whenever I first started watching him uh, warm up, you know, it's just the same as everybody else. Show up, throw some balls on the table, you know, just make sure that you're stroking them good, you're feeling confident, you like the speed, uh, just kind of adapting to the table. And now most of the time when I see him, he's not throwing balls up and just hitting them in. He's just running up and, and breaking over and over and over and over and over. And that is 100% something that has come from uh, Dennis and, um, you know, Roy's basement being around those guys. Um, I'm not sure if it is that he just feels more confident on the tables faster so he doesn't need the, to hit, you know, a few racks before he plays or if it's just he's realized that his game is at the stage to where the break can be the defining difference between um, his performance or not. Yeah, the break, break should be treated like another shot. That's just how important it is. Because that's that's what he does now. He'll he'll just come up and just break and just rack and break and rack and. You think he'll leave the combo here on the eight, 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 nine? I don't know. He's got enough room to just draw straight down it. Yeah, I just don't like See getting how he's too feeling. close to the rail. Um, it, you know, he could land funny on the rail. Well, and if he catches that po like if he does catch that point and it shoots out, he's going to be forced to shoot a combo. If he comes so. back to the middle of the table, I just think that's an easier combo. Worth a look. It's worth a little look. Yeah, this one's tricky. I mean, with the, the cloth, the cloth can slide as well. I mean, I know this this angle doesn't look too much, but if he draws this, he has to one avoid the, the side pocket. Just there like it that, is. Um, oh, and he barely got past the yeah. point. Just barely. But you see, even now, it's like you know, just draw this on and off the rail. It's a, it's a bit more work than I feel the combo would have been, but again, I haven't caught, you know, I haven't missed a ball sat here at least ten years. Can he not just hit this with a little bit of center or uh, high left, just a smidge, and then just rub the nine and push you could, it but towards? It, I mean, you really do just. I mean, this this way you guarantee a shot on the nine. You know, it's a little bit more effort. I mean, wow. <laughs> See the slide take that? Yeah. <laughs> that almost went catastrophic <laughs> when it started sliding. He really didn't mean that. He meant to come one rail and back out there. Style points. Style points. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's because you're using the outfield chalk. Yeah. <laughs> Shark. Nice. And he gets out. Again, not the cleanest, but it, it works. Yeah. 
it's kind of fun for me whenever I see players who I know have the ability to play at a higher caliber that are struggling a little bit because yeah. I like watching to see what uh, what they do to try to pull themselves out of that because uh, whenever I'm whenever I'm seeing the balls right and I'm playing my A game, I mean I feel great. But there's those random days where I fall into a slump and I have not learned how to navigate out of that in the same session. If I take a break and come back, I can reset my mindset and kind of be refocused. Uh, but like whenever I'm still in the same session, that I've really struggled with that. In the bear of sharing knowledge, um, the way I was coached was to be in an act. Yeah. So and the way I say that is to prepare yourself for the act. So getting into the into the role, mm -hmm. play, play, you know. A lot of it comes back from like if you if you dress for the part, you play the part. Yeah, and yeah. It's kind of like that. You that kind of get sense. yourself into an actor mentality. So what would be the thing that you would do that is different where you're acting as you know? So when you kind of um, it, it, everything comes into like pre-shot routine, you know, if you feel like you're getting in a slump and you, you're mm -hmm. trying to get out of it, take yourself right back to the basic of uh, the pre-shot routine. Yeah. Right down to when you chalk the cue to how you approach the table. And that's, that's getting yourself that's back into it. That's the only thing. It's kind of funny you talked about that because that's something that I realized on my last thing is I felt like the reason I was in a slump, ooh, this cue ball started flirting with that pocket. Ooh, seven balls yeah. still went in. Wow. Everything went in. Look at that. Everything went near a hole. Wow. <laughs> But it started playing around with, uh, I felt like that it wasn't a mental thing. I felt like mechanically I'm doing something wrong mm -hmm. and I'm just not feeling like I am. So that's exactly what I did. I went back to the, you see the shot line, you stand on the shot line, you go down on the shot line. And then that's the only thing that I did. But it, you, it was very forced. Like I had to be in very focused and I'm like, that might just be what I got to do. Like well, you just have thing. to and power you, my way through use, that. You use that fundamental. So when you see the people that are fundamentally strong, they use that to their advantage, but they then they also use feel and natural ability. Mm -hmm. So they, they mix the two with feel and with the act. Yeah. So the fundamental, the robotic side, the, the, mm -hmm. the stance, everything that you really do subconsciously, you, you do consciously, plus doing the things that you do subconsciously too. Is, mm. uh, Paul is a mindset. <laughs> wow, I did not think that was going to go down. I mean, that really hugged. Kevin's got something on his cue, I don't know what that is. I mean, that ball hit like a diamond and a half up the rail. <laughs> just stuck but yeah that's that's a lot of what i you know teach a beginner how often do you uh do you come out here from new york i've been to maryland like four times now i quite i, I say i really enjoy the show that people put on um it's a, it's a different experience as it is to new york oh yeah yeah plus you know down here i'm playing different players i kind of feel like you know just kind of refreshing yeah it's like a refreshing thing yeah. just to come down and meet new people no oh, that, that sounds awesome yeah, i've good. never been up to new york i want to go though i mean you got all the iconic oh, places up there to go to and well, anytime like you want to come you know uh, my home room is amsterdam billiards yeah right right downtown beautiful, nice beautiful room yeah 30 tables i've seen all the videos <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> yeah really good place And All right, you're down one to four. Are you attacking this? I mean, there's nothing else to do. He has to attack it. Oh, wow. Kevin, man. He played a great shot, too. Played a great shot on the one. And it, it wasn't as thin as that, but I feel sorry for him because he's, he's really going through the motions right now. Because you will be feeling the heat regardless. One four down, I mean, yeah. another, cup, an, another rack and oof. I mean, he didn't have but five balls to clear here. Really, you just want an easy rack. You want an easy out just to get your, just to settle yourself. As it is, Derek's got the easiest layout roadmap you've ever seen. Yeah, he, he got exactly what Kevin needed, basically. These are stops, you know, just dump, stop. Yeah. No side, stop. Doesn't need to do anything with the five, you know. Could even stop it dead if he wants to. going down exactly the way that it should be for him. Yeah, 
Yeah, didn't really leave himself to, you know, to, you'd want an easier shot than this, if I'm honest. Still good, though. Still, uh, still commanding the set of this one. Leads 5-1. to one. Kevin, will, Kevin will be kicking himself there. Take a moment and show a little bit of love to our sponsors while he's getting this rack together. We've got Scale Warehouse and more. If you guys need any type of scale for anything, whether it's, you know, a doctor's office, a food scale, uh, an animal scale, anything, um, they guys, they, they carry everything that you can need. You can use code BSN5 to save 5% on all online orders. Or you guys can just give uh, Steve Miserac a call directly on his cell phone there, and uh, he'd be glad to get your order taken uh, care of, Steve. That is a direct number to Steve right there. And you can uh, join the mob with Money Shoutout Billiards, uh, taking care of all your cue repair needs, tips, ferals, uh, cleaning shafts, um, the whole shebang. You can get in touch with those guys. they got all kinds of fun stuff going on. You can uh, click the link in our description to view their Facebook and see everything else they got. Got a new sponsor here with the Action Pool Tour uh, under new management. They got a lot of events planned out for the year. You can see their entire 2019 schedule going on there with their next event going down actually here in just a couple weeks at uh, Peninsula Billiards. It's actually going to be a double points event. So if you guys want to jump in there and uh, do your first event with them, you can get double points. Hop your way up the leaderboard a little bit. Have a nice break there. Nice break there from Derek. These uh, these look pretty. Exactly what you want at 5-1. Yeah, we could be seeing him get on the hill here. Yeah, just needs to navigate himself around the back of the nine ball here. Um, cut the one ball in, round the back. Just bring the cue ball middle of the table. Guarantee himself a shot. I mean, he may even check this up. I don't know if he's uh, coming back, back around. Yeah, just, just behind the nine, perfect. Nicely done. Again, can come back to the middle, or he can just uh, come one one rail and back out, play the play the three ball long. I personally like it in, in the side pocket. You got a lot of room to work with here, just like that. Want to be a bit straighter. Now he um, now he might have to go around the table off the four unless yeah. he just wants to drop it in. You know, literally another another inch to the left, and he's uh, and he's perfect. I mean, you could just roll this in and go behind the eight. I think that might be what he'll do. Because uh, you can come three rails behind the six then. Got a few more scores getting reported into us, guys. We'll get uh, these updated oh, in the ticker here in just a moment. Oh, baby, let it go. Oh, wow, he escaped yeah. narrowly right there. I don't think it goes by the nine. Do you have a camera that side? Not so, well, actually, I got this view oh, that go. he's going to be standing there. Right in front of. Uh, he's going to be tight. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it does Ooh. go. There's a gap, baby. He has options. Yeah. Just needs to navigate coming on and off the rail here. Looks like a little bit of the pocket's blocked by the nine ball there. See how that just that one inch of position can uh, can affect the whole rack? Yeah, absolutely. Just by one inch. you know, On the wrong side of that, that line there. He chose to go around the uh, around the table there. Drills it. Oh, that's nice, but he's left a really tough one here. He's going to be digging into this ball too, because it's deadly straight. I don't know if you have an angle on that one too. No, not on that side. Not on that side. What a oh, shot. Wow. Yeah, I know, and I so <laughs> nice long stroke. Perfect. Really, you see, I don't know if you saw it on camera there, but he stayed really still on that shot. No head movement at all. Again, same thing with this. Has a nice rhythm around the table, you notice. Doesn't, uh, doesn't rush. Doesn't need to do too much here. Looking like money. 
Kevin go ahead, goes ahead and gives him that nine ball there. Yeah, this is lovely. Really nice. Six one, and he's really in command. George, I'm joined in the booth with by Dell Sim, the I one and only, the, the Highlander. High, the Highlander. That's <laughs> no, really nice. I mean, like I say, share, I, I I do prefer to share knowledge. Like I say, I feel like if we do, then everybody gets better. Is that me? No. Or did I just get called? Huh? I feel like I just got called. Oh, I can't hear the speaker. I don't know. I don't know if that was me or not. <laughs> I know my match is coming up soon, but I don't know when. Charlie behaving, Matt Frog, table nine. Charlie behaving, Matt Frog, table nine. This is Kevin. You know, Kevin used a really long bridge. Even uh, I don't know if that's just a fact of where he's at right now, but I didn't realize he used such a long bridge all the time. Look at that. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, I think on bar box, I mean, it, it works for the nine foot tables, but on a bar box, you really need to shorten up. You need to be more compact. Yeah, otherwise, you're like overpowering. Yeah, and that's what he's done. He's lost the cue ball a few times, so I wonder if that might just be something he could uh, possibly change. He's really just free stroking him now. That was unlucky. Thank you. Um. He's got a nice lock-up safe. He, do, he doesn't want to leave an easy one here. So for me, I might be powering this one. I might be um, leaving it behind the seven and push the four around three rails instead of just leaving it, you know, it's better just soften it because... Yeah, because then it's just a really easy... A back and forth. Yeah. So if I hit this, I'd hit this with a just a, a hair below center and really pump this around the angles. So, uh, I, I do think that... Just playing, just rolling onto it is uh, is too easy. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> or just do that. Wow! Nobody saw Why that. Why did shot. you see that, Dale? Come on! Oh, come on, man. Where, <laughs> where was the knowledge for that shot? I, know, I wasn't holding the crystal balls at that point. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow, what a roll. Look where it's left it too. If he doesn't hit this ball, it's an easy 4 9 combo. <laughs> I mean, talk, wow. talk about a roll, man. <laughs> this could be the swing. Stay seated, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one we've been waiting for. <clears throat> uh, that's awesome. George, I appreciate the kind words, brother. Thank you. I mean, I don't know where to start with this one. I mean, he can Can he get by the other side of the? Uh, this is a hard shot, man. <laughs> that <laughs> really would have been ridiculous. The F and Z shot. I mean, he's not going to do it either. Is he going to do it? He's just going to run these out. Fair play to you, Kev. I'd, I'd be slashing that nine ball uh -huh. in all day, wouldn't you? But he wants table time. He wants to get. He wants to feel back. Do you know what? A little bit of this is psyche as well. You ever notice yeah. sometimes you might have an easy combo and to get in the head of your opponent is like, why don't you just take the combo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to run out on you. <laughs> just why not? <laughs> it really is. I, I enjoy the side of pool where it's the one-on-one -on -one battle, you know? A lot of it's mental. Yeah? Yeah, it really is. Well, yeah, me and Jake were talking about like the fear factor earlier about how some of these players who aren't uh, used to playing, you know, like a top level player like Aronis or something, and then you get you go up against them, and if it was just your buddy you were playing against, it'd be a whole different ball game. But because they, you end up playing the player, not the table. Yep, that's a well known phrase. Yeah, um, but everybody does it. Everyone's guilty of it. But the only way you get over it is to put yourself in this situation. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta become more accustomed to the feeling of playing somebody that you feel outmatched by. Exactly, absolutely. That's the way to do it. Just become a, become a name yourself. From Oz, we got people in from Australia, mate. Yeah, we've had uh, Australia. We had Scotland earlier. UK. Scotland, UK. Ah, they're good, good boys. Yeah, we had a bunch of them. Look at this. What part of Oz? Wow.
people in from all over the world. What are you at, 105? Yeah, for the guys in the in the chat room, give them a like and a share. It is full HD. The the stream is is for free as well. Is it on Twitch? Are you doing are you stream it to Twitch and YouTube? Yep, sure am. Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. So you're three tier. You don't get that from any other platform that I've seen. There's a couple people who have uh, swagjacked me, as I would say. Swagjacked. <laughs> <laughs> They see uh, what we got going on, and they're like, imitation? you know what, that's a great idea. Imitation, the best form of flattery, is it? Yep. That's what they say. That, that's what I'm riding with. <laughs> and it, it comes nonstop at all angles, too, with me and Jake from Lights Out and BSN, because oh, every time I come up with a new idea on this, I mean, once, once you see the idea, it's not necessarily yeah. the world's hardest thing to replicate. It's just we were the first ones to do it. And then they're like, wow, that's a great idea. Let's do that. And so same thing happens with Lights Out. Yeah. Look at the Oh, I thought it was going to get by the and eight there for a roll. second. I mean, that's a nice roll, too. Because you're not leaving anything open. It's, I mean, it's not. this isn't the easiest rack. Um, to get the seven there, you're going to have to play the six, nine, seven. Mm. But again, they're nice and compact. Did you find out whether they called you for sure? I don't want you to get uh, put on a clock. That was a good shot. Did uh, did I get called? No. Okay, good. I thought I heard my name. That was a nice shot. Again, it's a nice it's a nice two way. I think Kevin's just uh, he's not admitting defeat. He's kind of slashing at them a bit though. It is six two, I think. Is it six two? Oh I, yeah, it is. I totally. He's he's in eleven hours now, people. That's eleven hours. <laughs> I've stepped away from the stream long enough to to get food and handle the bathroom, and that's it. Oh, no, he got buried right on this five ball here. Yeah, I mean, he really just, uh, again, that long stri that, that long bridge. Yeah, he might just be over oh, there. look at that shot, too. Unlucky. Walked right into it. You can kind of see he's just throwing his arm at stuff now. Yeah. And we'll just, we'll just look at this. I mean, if the three-ball combo is there, he's he's scoping it out. We'll see. If not, he could always take the seven-eight combo. If the the hard part here is controlling the cue ball and the six. Um, he needs to really just guide. Uh, I mean, if he skims off, if he skims off the nine ball and uh, stops the cue ball dead, I think the six will come back where like he can play it. out. Yeah. But it might force him into something, doing something else. I like that shot too. I like because uh, he has ball in hand. He has. He has a lot of options. If the eight ball wasn't there, this this would be a far easier shot. But because he knows that the six is going to the right, you see like there. That's rough. No. That's that's what can happen. But I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him play well enough. He's 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 been cutting these down the rail like they were nothing. Let's see what he does. He's eyeing it up. Doesn't really need to do anything with the cue ball. We'll, we'll probably play this with left English just to make sure he doesn't scratch. Great yeah. shot. Just playing that with left, though, he really did Ooh. flirt with danger. Oh, my God. He's, he's, he's definitely had the better roll, I would say. Definitely the better roll. <laughs> I think this uh, this could be all she wrote. The fat lady's about to sing. Well, it's actually a bit more difficult than I thought. He's going to have to come up and down here. I thought he could just, uh, just stab into this. He's going to come two rails and back. Now, oh. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, nice shot. There you go. No shaking hands and a hug. There it is. And then a shake. There we go. Good sportsmanship from these guys. Nice one. All righty, guys. Let's uh, see, see who we got coming up next on the TV table.